Hello and welcome to Attention Central Texas. I'm your host, Charles Jenkins, and today in the studio we have Mr. Ken Cates, who is the CEO for the Fort Hood Area Habitat for Humanity. And he's here today to talk about something that's near and dear to his heart. It's the Veterans Bill Initiative. Hello and welcome to today's show. Good morning, Charles. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. Let's just jump right into it. Tell us, uh, first tell us how long you've been with Habitat for Humanity, sure. how long you guys have been serving this area, and then jump right into the Veterans Bill. Oh, absolutely. Uh, after retiring from the military, I, I took over at this affiliate in 2015. Okay. Uh, in August. So I've been here just a little two and a half years about. Uh, the affiliate's been in the Central Texas area serving Bell, Coryell, and Lampasas County since 1994. Okay. So we've been here a while and uh, we've, we've really experienced some amazing growth and, and great community partners in this, past, especially this past couple of years. That's awesome. Uh, so it's been very enjoyable as in this position and, and just giving back to the community that we were able to, to serve while I was in the service as well. So. Well, let's just recap on 2017 and sure. then tell us what you got going on for this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try and recap. I, all right. That's why I have a, a team and a staff that, that fills out all the fancy reports, but uh, short recap, uh, changes from the past one house per year and that was it. Uh, no other projects. 2017 was a drastic change. We have exploded with projects and programs. Uh, we've done, uh, completed three homes in 2017. Uh, we've uh, partnered with several cities. We've uh, completed two actual city park cleanups. Uh, three or four neighborhood revitalization efforts where we just go clean up a full community. Wow. And that's with these great partnerships with uh, Fort Hood service members that are there and veterans as well. Uh, we've been able to assist three veteran families with uh, direct critical home repairs. Uh, and there's, I mean, uh, my gosh, we're at four to six actual uh, revitalization efforts across Bell and Coryell County. And we're slowly reaching back out towards Lampasas County next. And then I know we kind of talked about it before the show, but tell us the excitement of everything that's going on in the new year, the 2018. Yeah. In the new year, uh, in addition to our expected four homes this next year, we've already completed a revitalization effort in Nolanville, uh, and we look forward to doing more. Not only with Nolanville, but e every city across the three counties. Uh, but the exciting part, Charles, is our Veterans Build Initiative. Uh, just about a year ago, I was. I accepted an offer to become the, uh, the chair of the Texas Habitat Veterans Advisory Council. Right. Uh, so we're, we're advising other Habitat affiliates how to serve veterans. Mm -hmm. And we're setting an example by partnering with the City of Temple, Keep Temple Beautiful, Wilson Art, and several other agencies, corporations, and community partners. And that effort, we're gonna build 26 units wow. to serve our homeless veteran population. Uh, it's going to have a community center, and it'll be 13 duplexes, each one at 650 square feet. Uh, so they're going to have a nice, simple, single room home of their own. So this is an ownership, not a temporary transient effort. It's an ownership opportunity, wow. and it's a permanent solution to our homeless veterans. Tell us the response from some of our veterans once they, you know, the year is going on and you renovate their house. Yeah. or you give them a new house, what's the response there? Well, the veterans are, like myself, veterans don't want a handout. We've served, we've done our part, we just want to hand up in some cases. You know, everybody falls in bad times. Yeah. And our efforts are not to give anything away. You gotta work for it. When, when you close on the house, that house is gonna be yours. You pay a mortgage, zero mm -hmm. interest, but you still pay a mortgage. And the veterans, that's what they appreciate, mm -hmm. is it's a hand up, that's not awesome. a handout. That's awesome. So that, they're, they're very thankful, and most of them actually step forward and continue volunteering uh, in our efforts, whether they're building the next home, or they're helping out in our restore, or they're helping out at any of our special events. Well, and, and you said the, the key word that's triggering me to my next question, and, and that's volunteer. Tell me about your volunteers, but also touch on how people can volunteer and get involved. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, Charles, that's, it, it's fun having our volunteers. I, I couldn't do anything without our volunteers. Uh, I would go broke paying staff members without our volunteers. Our volunteer efforts, we've tripled our volunteer hours this last year. Wow. Uh, they come from all walks of life, regardless whether they're, uh, we have folks come to us from having to serve community service, whether it's court ordered, school ordered, 
or for projects that they have at local universities and colleges. Um, but they're the ones that are establishing this effort. They're the reason we're able to continue growing the way we've grown this last year and expect to grow the next year. Uh, we have multiple opportunities in construction, working in our admin office, working at our restore, helping out at all of our fundraising events. Uh, in some cases, we might need somebody for two hours to be at one of the local restaurants doing a, a percentage for our dine and donate to hand out flyers. So there's all sorts of ways to volunteer. Yeah. And serving on our, we have several committees that they can serve on also. Okay. And speaking of Restore, just mm -hmm. touch a little bit about the Restore and what, what the Restore is there for. And Oh, sure. It's it open to the public. Uh, we're Home Improvement Center is what it is. We have, we receive new and used items. Uh, any new items that get donated to us get set aside and inspected by our construction team. Mm -hmm. If those new items can be used on our one of our houses coming up, we set it aside to reduce the cost of the build. Uh, if it can't because it's multiple various windows that won't match on the home or we can't use based on standards and, and requirements for the yeah. Texas code, uh, then we sell it. But that sales, that money that's brought in on those sales, go to fund the next home. Okay. Pays our op offsets the operational cost to maintain the tools, trucks, equipment to do what we do. Um, some of the funds actually support our Financial Peace University courses. Um, and, it, and it, again, offsets the other staff and operational costs so we can continue receiving donations going straight to the next build effort. Mm -hmm. And what has this been like for you, just seeing the, the community? And one thing we talked about together, I mean, before the show is, you seeing the community just come together and uh, what, okay. basically, what can you accomplish when the community work together like they've been doing for you guys? It, it, our success this last year shows what the community mm. can do. We go from one house per year and no other programs, no other projects, to these multiple projects, multiple programs, city, community revitalizations. Without the community coming together, we, c we accomplish very little. Mm. But community partners coming together, working together, we impact a larger community. So when we, when we call out the workers, because the harvest is plenty, we now have the, the workers coming forward. That's awesome. And that's the beauty, because we're able to not only accomplish more for the community, but we're able to spread the word of Jesus Christ through our efforts working together as a community. Um, but yeah, it's, it, without our volunteers and our community coming together, seeing us impact more creates more more of a, a, a want or desire mm -hmm. to partner with us to continue that growth and impact the community. And I heard you mention Christ, and um, is that to show his love to others? Absolutely. Uh, it, Jesus said it. He didn't say, sit here in your office, sit here in your church, and wait for people to come to you. He said, go mm -hmm. and make disciples. Go and make fishers of men. And that's what our goal is. Now, we're not going to, we're not going to pound re any religion or anything to anybody, but that's our goal is through showing Christ's love. That's right. We serve our community and when they ask questions, we answer. And, and I love the way you do that because a lot of people can hear, 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 but people learn and uh, it inspires them more when they see people out doing right. and uh, showing the love of Christ through their actions. And as a person, as a human yourself, what has this done for you and your psyche? Well, coming from 27 years in the military and uh, multiple tours overseas, uh, being able to give back in a different way. Mm -hmm. you know, there's one m level of serving, uh, but this way of serving is just direct impact. And you know, my, my kids get to see you know, how we can impact a community together. Mm -hmm. And they, they get a, a whole new aspect on life. They see the work of Christ among the community. So it's just been really heartfelt. It's been enjoyable. and uh, I, I've had offers to leave to, for bigger paying jobs in the big corporate world, but and I'm happy. This is, oh, this is enjoyable. So. You can tell. What have, uh, being a veteran yourself and giving back to other veterans, how important is that to you? It's more than important, Charles. To me, it's a requirement. I've served honorably, I've retired, and there are veterans who, there are forgotten warriors. That, that's what they are. Um, and to give back to those who set a standard before I en enlisted in the military. Mm. So that's the least I can do for these men and women who have served, it is they deserve more. Yeah. There are 
there are amazing efforts across Central Texas uh, with the VA, HUD, and everybody creating transient temporary shelter that's serving our veterans. But that's not a permanent solution. That's right. And that's what our goal is, is to provide this permanent solution and to be able to give to those who set a standard for me to be able to serve honorably, that it's the least I can do. And I love that you say, you know, our veterans uh, don't like handouts, but they look at it as a hand up, uh, a, a way to help them get what otherwise and sometimes they can't get. And I know the peace that, that comes from having your own place. That's nothing, that's nothing right. like it. And tell me the impact of the volunteers when, when you see uh -huh. they start volunteering, doing all the small stuff, but when you see that house come together, what has been their reaction? A lot of the reaction for volunteers, we, we get them, like I said, from all walks of life, different places. Some might come in as a requirement to only do six hours for their college program. Mm. But we get them back over and over again <laughs> because they're out there and they see the impact on that future homeowner and yeah. the other homeowners that are out there working. They see that they're able to give to the community. And what, what's six hours a week? Mm. To them, that's nothing. But they see the impact on that future homeowner and it excites them to be able to give that little piece of their life and they come back more and more and they start asking, what else can I do? Mm -hmm. it's, it's just amazing. And we're about to wrap up. Is there anything I didn't touch on that you want to just touch on in 30 seconds or less? No, uh, yeah, actually March. Uh, across the city of Temple and most of Bell County is gonna be a month of giving uh, to help our veterans build initiative. We have over 24 restaurants that are gonna provide a percentage of all sales to our Veterans Build initiative throughout March. So regardless what you like to eat, regardless what kind of restaurant you like, we'll have a calendar available on our website. Check out that calendar and pick and choose the restaurant of your choice. And tell me that website. Uh, it's the first letter of each word, Fort Hood Area Habitat for Humanity.org. So www.fhahfh.org. Oh my, that's a yeah. mouthful. <laughs> it is. Ken, as always, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Love your heart, love what you're doing for our veterans, and I want to say thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. And thank you, our viewers, for tuning in to Attention Central Texas.